in today's video i am going to make four christmas signs using products that i got from the dollar tree so for this first one i got this gnome for the holidays sign from like i said the dollar tree but i just got it for the gnome alone i thought he was super cute but i wanted to give him a little bit of a makeover so i started off by taking off his nose and i was going to sand the glitter off of his beard and then it ripped the paper when I took his nose off, so then I just ended up taking the paper off, and then it just turned into a bigger mess than I thought it was going to. So I decided to flip him over onto the back, and I am just basically freehanding the rest of his beard. It actually took me quite a while <laughs> to do that. I am not a very good artist when it comes to freehanding things, so I did look up pictures online, and then I just kind of tried my best to get it to match what I was seeing. So I just took my time with some white chalk paint to go around all those lines that I freehanded and I am just using the white chalk paint from Waverly. And then for the pants and feet and the hat, I am going in with Waverly chalk paint in lacquer. So again, I just took my time on a small detailed brush to go around the beard with the red and then same with the top of his hat. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't making any big mistakes. And then I also like that you can kind of still see the pencil on the beard. I feel like it gives it more detail, kind of makes it pop a little bit more, if that makes sense. So a little happy accident is basically <laughs> what that turned out to be. And then I did take some steel chalk paint from Waverly and I just used it on this little detailed brush and I'm just kind of giving him a little bit more detail to his beard, kind of, you know, how a beard isn't just plain white, you know, you got little gray hairs in there too. <laughs> so that's what I did with that just to give him a little bit more definition. And then after I was done with that, I took my sandpaper and I am roughing this guy up. I am going to go around all of the edges. I'm also going to go throughout the entire gnome itself just to give him a very rustic look, very scratched up and, uh, you know, old kind of looking. <laughs> so I'm just taking the nose, hot gluing it right back on there. And then I'm just going to do the same thing with the little pom-pom that was on the end of his hat. And I'm just going to hot that glue that right back onto the little gnome. And then after I'm done with that, I'm going to take these planks that I got from the Dollar Tree. They come in a six pack and I took three of them. I'm going to basically stain them in the Waverly Wax in Antique. I love using this as a stain and I feel like it turns out super pretty. So that is what I'm doing here with all three planks, just wiping on the stain wax, whatever you want to call it, with a brush and then wiping off the excess with a paper towel. And then for the frame, I am going to use a stretched canvas. I already had taken the canvas off of this frame previously, so I just grabbed it to use it. I'm going to paint it in my white Waverly chalk paint, and I'm not doing, you know, a super great job at painting. Basically just, you know, giving it a one good coat is really all it needed. And then after I'm done with that, I'm also going to take that Waverly wax paint stain, Waverly wax. <laughs> In antique whatever you want to call it if I you know I have an issues talking throughout all of my videos so just you know ignore ignore that fact but I'm just gonna go through and basically give it a little bit of a rustic look dry brushing on there making sure to hit all of the sides and corners really well and then I just kind of dry brushed around the rest of it and then I'm also taking my sandpaper the to this as well I wanted to make sure I got those corners nice and sand papered <laughs> whatever you want to call it. I wanted the natural grain of the wood to show through. So I just took my sandpaper, kind of blended the wax in with the white paint. And then 
Uh, now I'm going to take some hot glue sticks and glue all these planks together. Just two on the back where the seam is was enough to make these stay. And you know, if you have some issues, make sure you're just you know, getting that hot glue on both sides of the planks. So after I'm done with that, I'm going to hot glue a little line around the planks. And I'm going to set the frame right on top. Make yourself a cute little sign. And then I'm going to take my gnome and put him right in the center of that. And that is it. For my next project, I'm going to take this little sign that I also got from the Dollar Tree. I was going to take the paper off and it ended up just being a little bit more of a mess than I anticipated. So I am just going to take some sandpaper and just sandpaper over the paper that was ripped. And then I'm going to paint over it with my Waverly stain or Waverly paint <laughs> in steel. And I'm just going to go over that entire thing, making sure that I got... A couple good coats on there so that it would cover up the purple and it would you know cover up those words and while that is drying I'm gonna take these paint stir sticks that you can get from Lowe's or Home Depot you can get up in, in a pack of like three I believe for a dollar and I'm just going through and I'm going to use my miter shears to cut myself some pieces from this pop popsicle stick <laughs> from this painter stick paint stir stick <laughs> my goodness and I am going to cut myself out four pieces so this was a little difficult to do but it wasn't too bad you had to press it about four times on all four corners or all four sides and then I'm going to take some sandpaper and sand down the edges now I did make sure that these were all about an inch about an inch uh shorter than the one before it I wanted to make a little Christmas tree for the top one it was a little bit smaller than an inch in total from the other piece if that makes sense you can kind of see what I'm doing here um, but I just wanted to use a remainder of that flat edge so then I didn't have to get out a new stir stick <laughs> And then I'm going to paint all the edges in that same steel color just so that they matched up with the sign. And then I'm going to take this scrapbook paper that I got from Hobby Lobby. I just bought them in the scrapbook packs. I did end up changing my mind on some of them. So you will see that there are a couple that I did not show. And one thing that I don't know where my footage went for it is I just took some Mod Podge and I laid it down on the stir sticks and then I laid the paper on top of it. I cut around it, waited for that to dry. And then as you can see, I'm taking my sandpaper and I am basically sanding off the excess paper. It comes off really easy when you do it this way. And then I also wanted it to give it a little bit more of a rough look. So then I also did extra sanding around the corners. This technique is super great to get off all of those leftover pieces that you couldn't get with scissors. It gives you a nice flat edge and I love it. Then I'm going to take some Mod Podge and go over the top and the sides just to make sure that that paper is nice and stuck down there so it doesn't come up later. And then with the sign I was feeling like it just wasn't I don't know. I, there was something about it that I wasn't liking. I decided to take my antique wax and go in all of the grooves and corners of the sign. I feel like this really helped the sign to look age and rustic. And it also, I feel like, kind of blended the background to the frame, if that makes any sense. So I just took my antique wax and I went over all of the sides and the frame part. And then I also did that on the outside and to the corners, just so that all kind of match and blended well together. <music> And then after I did that, I took this little stem that you can get from the Dollar Tree in a pack of little branch stems. I took my miter shears and I just cut it in half so that I could use that as a little trunk to my Christmas tree. I hot glued that down and then I hot glued all of my little plank Christmas tree parts in place. And there wasn't a ton of room. There was 
you know, I kind of played with the idea of spacing them out a little bit or kind of make them go in opposite, opposite directions, if that makes any sense. Um, but there wasn't a ton of room, so I decided to just, you know, make them all straight. And then I took a little star that I also got from the Dollar Tree, I believe last year is one of those little stickers. And I just popped that right on top. And then after I'm done doing that, I'm taking this garland, this berry garland that I got from Hobby Lobby. I've used these in a couple of my videos and I absolutely love them. I think they're super pretty. So I just cut out three strips and then I'm just going to hot glue them in between each of my little planks just to give it a little bit more of a decorative touch. And I thought this turned out super cute. For this next DIY, this little tag right here was my inspiration. I got that from Walmart and I thought it was so cute that I wanted to recreate it in a bigger version. So I'm taking this large tag sign that you can get from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to paint it the back in the white Waverly chalk paint. And after I'm done doing that, I'm going to go in with my hot uh, heat gun. <laughs> that I got from Amazon. I'll have it linked down below to make sure that the paint is completely dry before I start my next step, which is I got this large ruler slash level. I use that to draw some lines on the sign. And then after I trace it just with the pencil, I did go in with my elephant chalk paint from Waverly. And I just went over the lines that I had previously drawn with that paint. And then I also used that paint to distress my sign. And then I am going to take some sandpaper to fade those lines. Don't mind the remote in hand. This was my two-year-old telling me to turn on a show. <laughs> so after I'm done sanding it the way that I wanted it, I took these Christmas trees that I got from the Dollar Tree. You can get them in a pack of five. And I just cut off the little stars on the top and sanded those rough edges down. Then I am going to take that antique wax from Waverly again to paint these trees. Again, I'm just going over it. And then I will wipe off the excess with a paper towel. And I just did this for all three trees. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I created these decals in my Cricut Design Space. These are ones that I personally made myself. So if you are interested in those, definitely let me know. You can contact me on my Facebook and my Instagram account to purchase decals that I create. So I'm just going to lay all these out. These trees were a little bit too long and I didn't want anything hanging off the edges. So I just cut off little pieces of the tree on the inside. You wouldn't even be able to tell because I'm going to have one tree on top. So I'm just going ahead and applying my decal, just putting it where I want it, smoothing it down, and then removing that transfer tape. I loved the different colors, the black and the red combined with the antique wax and the white and the distressed. It just, I loved it all. <laughs> so I'm just going to add all of my decals on here. And then once I have gotten those positioned the way that I like it, again here, another one of my children needing their doll's hair done, their little trolls. She wanted its hair done. <laughs> so I, I had to stop to do that before I could continue. So now I'm going to just hot glue my trees down. Like I said, I'm just going to put two on the bottom and then I will put one on top of those. And that is how that part turned out. <laughs> I thought it turned out super cute. And then as far as the embellishments to the top, I got this little pick from Walmart. It was 98 cents. And I'm just going to tear it apart, cut it apart, and I'm going to position it the way that I wanted to. And I'm going to hot glue it to the top of my sign. And I took a couple of those berries and also hot glued those down. And then I took this ribbon that I believe I got this from Hobby Lobby. And I'm just going to tie a simple bow and hot glue it in the middle. And that is how that turned out. I also did string some rope through the hole that you'll see later on and I thought this turned out super adorable. So for this project some of my footage got deleted and I'm just throwing this in as a little extra bonus. So I took this piece that I got from the Dollar Tree. It was like a shadow box and I basically just took it apart. I'll try to put a picture of what it looked like previously on the screen so that you can try to see it. But I just painted the frame with plaster from Waverly. I painted the background in truffle. And then those are 
popsicle sticks in the background, I used the antique wax for those. So I'm taking the back part of the shadow box and you can kind of see where it was like a little box, you know, all together. <laughs> and it came apart when I was taking it out of the main part of the shadow box and I just hot glued those together. I did cut down my popsicle sticks so that they would fit right in to the shadow box and I just hot glued all of those in place. There wasn't really much to it. I mean, I just measured it out, hot glued them down. Uh, I wish that I had the footage <laughs> that is now gone somehow. I don't know why that always happens to me, but it does. So I just thought this turned out way too cute to not show it or else I probably wouldn't have put it in here. But I got this little truck ornament from the Dollar Tree that came in a pack of four, and then I'm taking the red berry garland, popping the little red berries off of there, and hot gluing them to the tree. I just felt like the tree looked a little plain, and I wanted to, you know, jazz it up a little. So I'm just hot gluing those down to the tree. And then I'm going to take this little wood round that I had. It's just a little scrap piece of wood, and I needed to give the truck a little bit of lift off of the sign. So I'm just going to hot glue the tree to the truck and then I'm going to hot glue the little scrap wood to the back of the truck and hot glue that down. And then I'm taking this white berry garland or cream that I got from Hobby Lobby. You can get basically this color from the Dollar Tree as well. And I just made a little wreath with it. I've done a very similar project with a pumpkin for fall and I loved how that turned out and so I had to make a little red truck version of it. So I just put the whole piece back together. I stuck the glass back inside the frame and then I put the box back inside of the frame as well. It just popped right back in and then I'm going to take some black buffalo check ribbon, tie a super simple bow and I'm going to glue this right in the corner and then I'm going to use the tails to frame out the frame. I thought this turned out super cute. I had contemplated putting it in the middle, but I didn't want the truck covered up, and I just thought this positioning of it was absolutely adorable. So I then took some twine and made another really simple bow, put that on top, and that is it. And that's it you guys thank you so much for watching i am so excited for all my new subscribers i thank you guys so much for watching my videos and supporting my channel it definitely means a lot go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed these christmas signs and i'll see you guys next time bye